Glory to Jesus Christ. We do you beloved in Christ. This is March the 26th, which is the oft referred to as the leave taking of the Feast of the Annunciation. The Feast of the Annunciation was celebrated yesterday and today, but in a certain sense, we never leave the Annunciation. Annunciation is always with us, where Mary said yes to become the Mother of God, bring Christ our Lord into our midst to bring us salvation, to bring us life, and to bring us health. We are still in time with the other precious cross of Christ. And today's prayers to the cross are very pitiful. It says, Shine, shine in splendor, O new Jerusalem. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you, O Zion. Sing with joy and rejoice, O you pure mother of God. Rejoice in the resurrection of your son. The glory is your precious cross, O Lord. Shine in splendor, O church of God radiating with the illumination of the cross, which you place before the eyes of all the faithful veneration. And may the multitude of demons return to the path of darkness. O faithful, let us go forth in love, and in thanksgiving bow low before the cross of our God. For the cross is a companion of those who keep vigil, the strength of those who fast, and always victorious in battle. Beloved in Christ, we are still in the time of Coronavirus, when we're told shelter in place. I'd just like to read you this morning a little section that was given to us for meditation by the newly consecrated Bishop Alexis of Bethesda. He says, During times of uncertainty, anxiety, and fear, we naturally turn to God for refuge, peace, and courage. This is our birthright as baptized Orthodox Christians. Indeed, God is our refuge and strength for a present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear through the earth, though the earth may change, taken from Psalm 46. With the coronavirus, the earth has changed, but we do not fear. The faith are isolated in their homes, physically separated from loved ones, even able to gather together as the church to celebration of the mysteries. But we do not fear. For God remains our refuge, our peace, and source of courage. Many understand the discourage and this downcast about the decision to ban Eucharistic gatherings in church for the sake of the health of our neighbor whom we love. Yet God remains our refuge, our peace, our source of courage. Within this trial, this threat to so much that we hold so very dear, there's a call that is given and a promise that beckons. But to hear that call, to see the fulfillment of that promise, we need to approach our Savior as his faithful children always approached him, not with self-righteous indignation, or self-pity and despondency with humble, patient hope. Bishop goes on and says, this is the call to the prayer of the heart. And what is the prayer of the heart? It's the Jesus prayer. We pray, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, a mercy of your sinner. We look at the precious cross of our Lord. We continue to celebrate the Feast of Annunciation throughout our whole lifetime, not just once a year. The Annunciation says to us, always appeal to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Bring him into your heart that our heart will be inspired by the Holy Spirit then to bring forth Christ to the world itself. This is our goal. This is, our, this is the mission that we have as a, as a body of Christ, as the church, to bring Christ to the world. We can only do this if we have Christ ourselves in our heart through prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I said one announcement to make to you. Remember that tonight we have the family feud on which you can go through on our website, which Kathy Brady has organized for us. Please go there and see if you'd like to participate and enjoy ourselves as a parish family. Uh, when we're not able to get together, at least we can go on the computer or on our phones and so forth to be with one another. Once again, glory to Jesus Christ, glory to the precious cross, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>